because we are finally doing another project comeback and I just I love project comebacks if you're an OG subscriber you know that basically when I first started my YouTube channel I already did a project comeback whereas that one was very like fitness I'd fallen off the health and fitness bandwagon I wanted to get my physique back on track like that kind of dealio whereas this one it's much more of like life in general kind of project comeback because if you haven't been keeping up over on my Instagram and I guess also on my YouTube basically my life has just been a little bit of a mess lately <laughs> Like the last couple of weeks, I've just like, if I wanted that extra wine, I've had that. Or if I wanted to go chill out with the girls instead of like doing the productive things I know I should do. And like, I've just been really, really gentle on myself. And like, honestly, I needed that. But now I'm feeling good. And it's time to get my like, my ass back on track kind of thing. There's four different categories. So you've got fitness, health, nutrition, and mental health. And then there's also going to be a little challenge sheet. So basically every single day, there'll be like a cool little challenge to kind of like push you that little bit further, keep you on your toes and just something to keep it fresh and keep you excited, you know? Cause that's how we do things here. So it's currently Monday and it's it's not 12 o'clock yet. It's 10 to 12 um, and it's been a good morning. We've gotten everything done that we needed to so far. So I've woken up early. I did a workout. Um, I cooked a nice healthy breakfast. I did my meditation um, and I've just been like smashing out some work now to be honest. And now it is time for us to get into lunch. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm super busy and I don't really have time to focus on cooking is to utilize using our foil and also the oven because it is so easy. So all I do is I peel my vegetables and I cut them up and I put them in some our foil. I chuck it in the oven, I set a timer and I forget about it and I go and I do all the other things that I've got to do. And it's just, it's so convenient doing it this way and not having to worry about something burning or keeping an eye on it or stirring it. It's like until that timer goes off, literally it's out of my Mind and you can go and do the million other things that you have to do. So to make the most of my time, I'm also going to be cooking up my protein in the oven. So what I do is I leave the sweet potato on for an hour and then I'll come back and I'll prep up my salmon. So I'll put some lemon and some dill and what other herbs and seasonings I want to put in there, wrap it up in our foil boat and then I'll put it in the oven for 25 minutes and then once that timer goes off, I'll take everything out of the oven and it's basically ready to go. You can also do this with your vegetables. So basically that last 25 minutes when you're cooking your protein, you would just also add in your vegetables during that time but for me today I felt like having a fresh little salad to go with it I've got some lettuce I got some cucumber and tomato chuck that on there and there you go there is a super quick easy healthy lunch idea Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I have to keep it really quiet because everyone's asleep except for me. Um, I'm still at home because today we're doing an at-home workout. So I'm thinking about doing like a cool little Pilates session and the sun has like just started coming through the window. So I think I might do it right there. Um, so basically today like the challenge was to just do an at-home workout. So um, I'm actually really sore and today would have been a rest day if I wasn't training, like if I didn't have to do an at-home workout. Uh, so I think I'm just going to do like a really low-key um, Pilates session, just move my body in some way. I'll start with like a nice stretch and like warm up and then uh, go from there. Get on my Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Don't lock, like everything that is a cherry on top Get on my 
officially feels so much better. It is time to make breakfast and then we gotta start getting ready for work because I'm running slightly late here. Baby. So on mornings that I've gotta be in like a really quick rush, I like to buy some coconut yogurt and I'm gonna use half of this tub. I'm gonna put it in with a full banana cut up. I'll probably do some frozen blueberries. I always keep them in the freezer for like times like this when you just like need something additional. Some hemp seeds and chia seeds and also i'll put some of this organic granola in there as well that'll taste delicious and like maybe some raisins or some dates or something like that so a bit of a fancy thing um and oh the other thing i always make sure that i'm putting in some kind of protein into my yogurt um just because because i am pescatarian i don't think it's hard to hit your protein intake but i think you definitely need to be mindful and if you're not mindful then it can be hard so in my coconut yogurt i always add a vanilla um protein powder or sometimes chocolate if we're going with the chocolate theme um just because it just tastes better as well and you get that extra protein so yeah anyway um i'm gonna make that up and then i'm gonna run off and go to work hello guys so it is now tuesday night um and i'm just doing a little bit of meal prepping so i'm cooking myself a nice little spaghetti bolognese which i didn't bother filming that for you guys because literally i I've filmed that recipe like three times on my YouTube channel already. Um, but I'm doing that up today and I bought myself some little Chinese takeaway containers because I figured now that I'm trying to get like back on the health fitness like bandwagon, I needed to prep some meals for the night when like no one is home or like I get home late and there's like nothing to eat. So I'm gonna cook all these up. I'm gonna have one tonight because tonight is one of those nights and I'm gonna freeze the rest so I've got them on hand. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> so in the challenge, you've got to cook with something new every single week and like, I cook pasta all the time, right? So I was looking in the fridge and I was like, what's a random ingredient that I could like add in there that I haven't cooked with before? And I've cooked with most vegetables before and so I found <laughs> a little parsnip. Um, so I'm gonna put a parsnip in my spaghetti bolognese and I have no idea like what that's gonna taste like. I don't even know how to cook with it. Um, and mum just got home and she told me that you just wash it, you don't bother about peeling it. And you guys also said to just wash it, don't worry about peeling it. So. I'm gonna trust you guys and I'm gonna wash it and put it in my spaghetti and uh, see how that turns out. Um, and also I did put like a little bit of red wine in my sauce because it's going to cook off anyway. Um, and little admitting moment, like it literally took so much of my willpower and it's still taking so much of my willpower not to open this right now and have a glass of wine. Um, and you guys know me, I don't normally drink. So it just shows you how much I need this challenge to like get my life back on track and not be an alcoholic that needs wine with Italian. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna cut this past bit and uh, I'll let you know how I go. Alrighty guys, here goes nothing. <laughs> Mom's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know if I've cooked it enough. Because it's a root vegetable, isn't it? Damn it. Okay. It's not like breaking off. Oh. Alright, we're going two pieces then. That actually wasn't that bad. Okay. I'm gonna finish my pasta and I'll see you guys in the morning. And today I've woken up a new woman. Like I am, I don't know why I'm so energetic right now, um, but I'm actually on the way to go and do a techno funk class now. Um, so it's like a cardio class, so it's great that like I have a lot of energy this morning. Um, maybe my pre-workout has also kicked in. Got a good day ahead. I'm gonna be making some protein balls for you guys later. Um, I'm gonna be making salted caramel over on my Instagram. So I wanna make a different flavor for you guys. Something that I haven't done before. So let me, we'll see, we'll see what I end up figuring out. But yeah, all right. Time to get to the class. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does support my channel and I really do appreciate it. I tried to explain how much you really mean to me, but I feel a bit insane. Could you just take me seriously? I get jealous, I get down. Run into the club, try not have fun. But I'm always jealous, it goes around. We should cut to the chase. Oh my god guys, that was so, so intense. Oh, that was a sick 
session. Um, I feel so good after that. Cardio like sessions just like get the endorphins going. You're just like ready to have a kill ass day after that. But yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna head home, get a little bit of work done, um, and then I think I'll probably see you guys next for the protein balls. So it's a little bit later on in the day and I figured I'd come outside in the amazing weather um, and basically do a little bit of like a stretching routine with you guys because you've been asking me for a while to come out with some content on how to increase your flexibility um, and a stretching routine. So I figured we'd make the most of it and do that today. And I've just written down on my fold the tips and tricks that I've used to increase my flexibility over the years. So the first one is obviously to be consistent. You're not gonna turn into the most flexible person overnight. Obviously it does take some dedication and commitment. The next one is to always choose correct form over like just trying to be more flexible if you're going to be using incorrect form you're just going to cause injuries and later down the track when you want to start increasing your flexibility even further you're going to have to go back to fix your form to move forward if that makes sense so don't try and jump the gun just choose correct form always the next one is making sure that you're holding your stretches for like 15 to 30 seconds each and you also want to be making sure that you're warming up in some way before you go into a stretch so today it's really nice weather if it's like a little bit cooler or anything like that like if it's in the middle of winter be smart about it go for a walk or even like just do a little bit of a warm-up at home before you get into it to let your muscles kind of warm up and relax and you'll be able to stretch further than you otherwise would and my last tip for you guys is after you've been in the stretch for a couple of seconds what you want to do is take a big breath in and then as you exhale you actually want to reach deeper into the stretch and it'll allow your muscles to relax a little bit just for you to move that little bit further forward um, and basically you just want to be making sure that with all your stretches you're hitting a point where you can definitely feel the stretch um, you never want to go past that because obviously that's going to cause an injury but just allowing that little bit further movement by breathing out and reaching out further and then staying there um, that'll help a lot as well so yeah you're taking my hand leading the way stay in the night looking at you making your moves there is no silence i wish you'd never let so sweet but you're dynamite i just want to dance with you feeling that burn i'm not getting out yeah yeah baby you make me lose my mind baby you want to stay the night time goes fast i don't care i've known you long enough when we go we lose track of time you and i we can stay inside time goes fast i don't care i've known you long enough i know what i want that I care, nothing can change that. Talk to me, babe. Fight for me, babe. Need you to hear me. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a daddy daughter movie night. I'm a loser out of control. Eh, eh, uh -huh. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just want to dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. I'm running so late. Why am I always running late? Okay, so we're currently driving over to Technofunk now because we actually have a super exciting day happening today. So the gym is actually having like a photo shoot done. So they just asked a few of us if we can come along and basically train there so they can get like some videos and some cool action shots. Um, and they want to interview a few people afterwards as well. And it's just gonna be so much fun. Like I've never actually done a shoot before and I'm like so, so embarrassingly excited. Um, so that'll be a whole load of fun. And I'm gonna try and like shoot some behind the scenes for you guys as well because I feel like that would be pretty cool. We're gonna have a nice lunch, nice tea 
today's lunch um, and I'm gonna have like my one drinking day for the challenge today so um, I'll probably order a cocktail or two alrighty let's go baby Hello guys, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day so far. So my Sunday's been pretty cruisy today. As you guys saw this morning, I got my YouTube video up um, and I watched that with both my mum and my dad because they always love watching my videos with me, which is really, really sweet and I love that. Um, so we did that. Um, I've been doing a whole lot of organizing since then. Like honestly, like a lot of admin, a lot of editing, a lot of planning out content um, and yeah, just kind of getting my life sorted. So I've actually just come back from the shops and I'm gonna get into a little bit of meal prepping now. So I'm actually gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and gives the value on as always and if you did don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe because it really does support my channel and I really do appreciate it but besides that I hope you're having a beautiful morning or night whenever you're watching this I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at 11am bye guys